Hello everyone, I am Tim Maker and today I'm going to present my uh, Delta Robot project. Hopefully this will be uh, the, the final video of this, uh, of this uh, long going, uh, th this is the third video of this project and uh, hopefully it's the final one. So uh, we've come uh, great, uh, we've come uh, very far in uh, reviewing and uh, updating this uh, robot. Uh, we were using uh, plexiglass for the for the arms, and uh, also plexiglass and three three D printed uh, uh, parts for the for the end effector, which uh, which was not that uh, which was not that good. You see, I had the problem. I didn't notice it uh, only uh, after it. <laughs> I assembled it and I got it working. The plexiglass is has a little bow, so it cannot be uh, it cannot be uh, parallel. Uh, this, these arms need to be parallel. Uh, this is uh, uh, this robot belongs to the parallel uh, uh, robot family. Uh, its cinematic uh, chain is closed. So when I, when, we, when we say a parallel robot, it really needs to be everything needs to be parallel and perpendicular, and every angle, every point needs to be accurate. So in the industry, this type of robot are used for uh, as manipulation robots. They get to uh, uh, move it, pick and uh, pick and place items, or uh, sort uh, sort uh, sort items according to using uh, uh, image processing or uh, color detectors, uh, or, ma or maybe uh, weight uh, according to the um, to the process it's gonna be used in. Uh, they are very, uh, I think they are very expensive. That's why I wanted to to make one and challenge myself and I'm gonna show you the progress I made so far so uh, I am using stepper motors which are not the s most suitable uh, actuators for this kind of project with the right actuators like uh, big servo motors you know with the high power high precision motors servo motors it can be very agile very precise and very uh, has a very high speed I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, uh, a segment of a video. Uh, I don't know the uh, what is the uh, uh, the type of uh, in the, uh, manufacturer that it, it's using, but you you'll see what I'm uh, talking about. Only if you know what the <laughs> that robots can really do. I had a wooden base here. Now it's um, a three millimeter thick uh, steel sheet. It's been cut with a plasma cutter. Uh, we have the uh, I didn't change the uh, motor holders, which I uh, made from uh, I don't know how this is called. Uh, it's L L shaped uh, uh, steel to mount the to the mount the motors. Then we have a pulley and uh, pulley and belt system to have uh, more torque. So for for the motors, are the, the these stepper motors are not that uh, that powerful to uh, to actuate this uh, this weight, uh, even if it's uh, uh, this small. Then I used here uh, uh, here in Tunisia we call it uh, alicoban. It's made of uh, uh, a thin sheet of aluminium. Then uh, there is rubber uh, rubber. Then another sheet of aluminium. It can be um, uh, flexible and with the right um, combination or how you mount it it can be a very rigid uh, material and it's lightweight which is what we are aiming to build uh, for, for building this uh, robot next we have uh, these small uh, 3d printed parts to mount the uh, the ball joint now we have two ball joints here then steel uh, steel uh, steel rod uh, another ball joint and the end effector, which is uh, like, like you can see, it's like the uh, the 3D printed, uh, like the the Delta 3D printers. Uh, it's it has the same um, uh, shape, and we have three arms which are uh, which are mounted in one, uh, 120 degrees apart, and the uh, this pink base. <laughs> now let's talk about the electronics. So before I open uh, this case, I went for the easy solution of using the GRBL uh, software 
to drive the stepper motors as uh, they need to be um, driven uh, in, uh, in a parallel way so uh, if we are using an Arduino with simple uh, stepper.h uh, uh, library we cannot move uh, um, steppers uh, in parallel so I, uh, I use the uh, GRBL uh, library to drive the, uh, to drive the, the Delta robot like, uh, like we do for the CNC machines I use the same code I use G-code to, uh, to drive it even with the edge processing part so I send it uh, commands through this uh, USB cable from, uh, from the PC uh, and it, it executes so this is the uh, operative part of the machine and all the thinking, all the calculations are made uh, on, the, on the PC and you will get to that, I made an, an interface graphical uh, user interface for the robot and I'll be posting the code and uh, everything on my uh, website and uh, you'll find the link uh, below also the, the 3D model of the robot so you can take inspiration from uh, what I made now I'm gonna open it these are the two power supplies uh, here you can see the motor drivers one, two and on the inside I have the DRV8825 for a Lulu stepper driver here this is the uh, Arduino Nano which, is, uh, which has the GRBL uh, flashed into it I think it's uh, 0 0.9 version uh, here this is the uh, pneumatic uh, distributor that activates the, uh, the, section, uh, the section cap and uh, the relay board and the air pump which means the vacuum so this power supply uh, is for the uh, pump and the uh, pneumatic distributor and this power supply is uh, dedicated only for the motors now let me mount it and connect the motors and the stuff and let's see it moving so here we go I'm gonna settings I have my Each axis can move around about to uh, 24 degrees, 45 degrees, sorry. And then I, I'm changing the speed. Let's see it. So, here I'm making, I'm gonna activate the pump. So, let's start. So, let's activate it. It's well. Activate it. It's This is the last one. This is the uh, the program uh, the program that I wrote using uh, Visual Studio. So I'm using uh, uh, AMGU CV um, uh, library for the uh, image processing, and this is the uh, the code. In this part we are uh, declaring uh, the uh, the constants of the uh, Delta robot. It's uh, arm length and. Uh, um, general um, uh, geometry. This is for the serial uh, the, for the serial port. <coughs> this function uh, uh, public function uh, parameters, so you can uh, change them according to your uh, specific geometry of the, the delta robot you you used. This one to open uh, the port to enable uh, serial communication. And here we have the um, the different um, calculations of the uh, um, going from a function uh, that we give it uh, three angles. 
theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and it gives us the, uh, the position of the uh, end effector in the XY, uh, XYZ three dimension uh, space and the, uh, the code go, goes on, goes on uh, and on and uh, I'll be posting this code if you wanna take inspiration of it or uh, build upon it it has, uh, it has errors in it and uh, if you can help me with, uh, with them uh, I'll be glad you can contact me on uh, social media, YouTube, you know or my website, which I will, be, I will be posting the code so this is the interface so we have the serial port we connect to it, you can hear the relay clicking we can use this uh, dialog box to send it a serial uh, command so X, Y and Z are the, the three stepper motors X, Y and Z it's working like a CNC machine as I said so 10 it means that they, they need to go to 10 degrees this is 0 degrees this is 45 degrees and this is minus uh, 44 degrees so if I click send it's gonna move up to uh, 10 degrees each uh, this button uh, go to 0 brings it back to the uh, 0 degrees location here we have the position uh, calculator so if we put 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees and we use the inverse uh, calculation uh, arrow we get the position of the x, y and z uh, of the uh, end effector in order for me to uh, calculate the position of the end effector I use the code um, from this link which is the Trusten Robotics Forum it helps, it helped me a lot uh, in this project here it, it explains what is uh, a Delta robot and the kinematics um, in order to move it uh, it goes step by step um, uh, doing the cinematic um, equations and the uh, and all the, uh, the equations you need in order to calculate the, the position there's uh, an inverse kinematics and forward kinematics going from the angles of the arms to the uh, position of the end effector and from the position that you want to go to calculate the, uh, the angles which you, you'll be using to command your uh, motors uh, this is uh, the sample program I, um, I tweaked it a bit and it's not that uh, accurate but um, it, it does the job now let me go back to the, uh, to the interface so as I said we put uh, I don't know uh, 45 and 10 30 degrees for theta 1, 45 for theta 2 and 10 for the theta 3 it calculates and I can update its position so that position is there so if we put all of them at the same angle it only should go to the uh, according to the z, the z axis so we, have, we should have x0, y0 and uh, uh, the position of the uh, on the z axis. See the calculations are uh, uh, sorry, um, plus or minus uh, I think two millimeters, but um, in the real life it's not that accurate because of the backlash and uh, it's it wiggles a lot. We go back to zero now. This part uh, here we have the drop and catch. Make a bit the pump. So. This is the suction by head catch. It's, uh, it's catching the bottle cap. Now I have drop. It's gonna drop. So this part is for the uh, position calculation, and this part is for the circle detection. I'm gonna start the camera. Uh, so, so this is the error I'm, I'm getting it's in French l'index se trouve en dehors des limites du tableau I couldn't fix it but let me show you some pictures of it working so here is me grabbing an orange uh, this is um, a bottle cap detected so it gives the X and Y position uh, in the frame 
and it's uh, and the um, and the diameter of the uh, of the but uh, of the circle. So uh, these numbers are in pixel. So we need to uh, uh, calculate them in the in, in millimeters how they are uh, positioned on the table. In order to the, to do that, I know uh, the I know the the bottle cap. Its uh, diameter is the 30 millimeters. Well, uh, I'm using the big ones. Its diameter is 30 uh, millimeters. So I use uh, that to calculate the uh, coefficient uh, to um, to convert the calculations to uh, from pixels to millimeters. So here we have the uh, uh, this feature is activated by using the uh, the fetch button so this is the frontal camera so for the um, uh, this is the it's it detecting the circle as you can see but the camera I'm using for the for the robot it's not that accurate and uh, it's not it didn't work I think because of the uh, USB as soon as I plug it the the, um, the Arduino Nano disconnects and reconnects and uh, then it's uh, it shows that message that we saw if you have any uh, idea how can I fix this please uh, comment below or uh, or send me an email uh, or something uh, if you have any other questions I'll be glad to answer them, uh, let's keep in touch and uh, this will be it for this, uh, for this uh, playlist of the Delta Robot uh, project. Uh, so that's it for this uh, video, uh, as a recap we built uh, three ver versions of this uh, Delta Robot until we got to this state, which, uh, which is uh, agile enough and precise enough in order to make a repetitive task. Uh, for the image processing part, we didn't succeed uh, at a 100% level for it to be uh, automated, but uh, it's only a problem of time in order to solve that, which is sadly I don't have uh, enough time to do it. I need to move on to other projects. Uh, this uh, project was very challenging for me, I had to learn uh, about a new uh, programming language with C sharp, C sharp. Uh, use uh, uh, software to make a GUI interface which is Visual Studio. Uh, it, is a, it is a free software, but that was great, the community version. Uh, also, uh, I had to do a lot of uh, 3D, uh, 3D modeling using uh, Fusion 360, you'll find, uh, you'll find the uh, 3D model, model of the project. Uh, linked below or on the uh, pro project page. Uh, this project was very challenging and I, uh, I am very glad that I uh, succeeded in uh, making it. Well, see you next time in another project. Bye-bye.